It is time to test out some more batteries, and today we are going to check out these Power Owl rechargeable lithium batteries. Let's check them out. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today we're going to be checking out these Power Owl rechargeable batteries, and these are lithium constant 1.5 volts. We'll talk about what that means. But basically, I did a video a while back on these Power Owl rechargeable, and I actually tested out these. Uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeables and I've been loving them. I've been using them in everything from controllers to remote controls to just about everything I bought a bunch of double A's and a bunch of triple A's. I did a video about that I'll go ahead and link that right up in this corner here somewhere But recently power owl reached out to me and they said hey We'd like to you to test out some batteries and they actually sent me a link to the ones that I bought and I said Hey, I've already bought these out of my own pocket um, I love them, but if you got something different, I'll be happy to check that out and they sent me a link to these, which are their new ones. So they said, check out our new batteries and let us know what you think. So thank you to Power Owl for sending me these for review. And this particular pack came with eight batteries and a charger. And this is what the charger looks like right here. It's got a USB-C input. So there's a little USB-C cable in there to charge it up. And this is everything that on the packaging on this, you can barely read it on here, but it says this is for lithium batteries only. Do not charge the nickel metal hydride so don't charge these in there you can only charge these and you can see how that might be confusing but what i might do is it does say on the back here lithium and it's kind of you know hard to read so i might take something like a silver sharp sharpie and write on there lithium only so i don't accidentally put the wrong type of batteries in there but i charge them up and it says 1.5 volts so what does that mean we're just going to talk basically about voltage and current and capacity and all that stuff. If you want to learn a whole lot more, I've got a video on a deep dive into what volts and amps and watts and all that stuff means. You can check that out. Also, I'll link that below. But basically, if we look at these nickel metal hydrides, the, uh, the older ones that I've had, these are all 1.2 volts. Now, as you know, a standard AA or AAA battery is 1.5 volts. So how do these, these 1.2 volts work? Well, basically, that's just the open circuit voltage, meaning it's just sitting here with nothing plugged into it. That thing doesn't want to stay in place, does it? Just sitting here with nothing plugged into it, it'll read, you know, 1.2 volts, or a standard AA will read 1.5 volts. But once you load it, which means once you plug it into something, whether it's a flashlight or a controller, then it loads it down, it starts using the power, and a regular battery only delivers about 1.2 volts. So that's what this delivers. So these rechargeables, they deliver that same voltage basically as long as they can until they drop down to where they just die and you have to recharge them. And on a regular battery, just a standard alkaline, they'll do the same thing. They'll stay around 1.2 and eventually they'll lose so much capacity that they'll get down to about a volt and then they'll cut off and they won't work anymore. And you toss those in the trash. So the 1.5 volt ones say that they'll actually keep at 1.5 volts under load. Now I'm not sure if that's true or not. I didn't do a load capacity test with them. But what I did basically is I did a capacity test between these. Um, the, the simplest way that I could and just plugged them both into a flashlight. Turned the flashlight on. Did a time lapse video. And I'll start playing that here. And you'll see that as the uh, time went on. The video here on the left is going to be the lithium batteries, and the video on the right is going to be the older nickel metal hydride batteries. Eventually, the uh, nickel metal hydride starts to decrease in capacity, and it gets dimmer and dimmer, and it's going to cut out quicker than the lithium did. Now, that should be expected because the lithiums are 3,000 milliamp hours in capacity, whereas these nickel metal hydrides are... 2800 milliamp hours so a little difference in capacity by about 200 milliamp hours so that's not a big difference but having that 1.5 volts especially in a in a flashlight situation if you can maintain a higher voltage then that flashlight's going to be just a little bit brighter now in something like a remote controlled or a game controller is it going to make the game controller faster or brighter or anything like that no but it's just going to last a little bit longer and also, a nice thing about these, since they're both very similar, you know, same brand and everything, uh, the colored coating is a little bit different. These are blue versus these are green. I don't know if that's going to stay standard. But these do say Power Owl Pro on them. 
as opposed to just Power Owl. And they do say lithium right on them, so that's a good way to remember what you have on here and which charger to plug them into. So where are these lithium 1.5 volts going to come into play as being a better choice for, for batteries? I would guess anything that was a higher draw or higher drain, so something like a camera or a remote-controlled car or something that's got motors in it that's constantly turning, that may be a better better use of the higher voltage and the lithium chemistry. But for something with a smaller drain, then I think the nickel metal hydrides are going to be just as fine. Now when Power Owl reached out to me, they did say that they would give me a coupon code for you guys to use, a special link that you can get these at a discount rate. So I'll go ahead and put those down in the description below so you can go check it out. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. If you want to see more, go out check out the rest of the channel and hit subscribe. If you have any questions about these batteries, go ahead and drop me a question down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer anything that I can. Check out that other video where I reviewed the Power Owls with the uh, big charger that charges both AA's and AAA's, which I believe this will also, if you do get some AAA's, these things do hinge down. So they hinge completely down when you're putting a AA in there, and they flip up like that for if you have a AAA. But go check out those videos. Check out these batteries. I thank you as always for watching, and until next time, peace out and geek out.